presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, what are hot folders and how do you use them? Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I teach all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you've ever wondered oh, what are hot folders or how can I add media into ProPresenter automatically? Go ahead, give me a thumbs up and like, subscribe, etc. So one of the more powerful features inside of ProPresenter, if you use media, whether they're foregrounds or backgrounds on a regular basis, is the ability to add the stuff automatically. You do that with what's called a hot folder. The problem is a lot of people misuse these and it causes issues for them down the road. So I'm going to show you a little bit about them and uh, how we go about doing that. So let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look. So we're in ProPresenter right here and we're just going to click on this plus right here. Um, and I said hot folder, that's actually the old name for it. It's actually called a smart playlist now. So I'm going to click on new smart playlist. And notice that it comes up here. I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to decide whether I want to do, yeah, let's just do this announcements folder because it just has a few little things in it. So I'm going to click OK, and notice it has automatically added those few little things in here. This is not perfect uh, in that I had these left over from an earlier tutorial, but notice that they're in here automatically. So that's good in that I could now, since I have this as an announcements thing, I could just... Um, drag the whole shebang into a new uh, presentation. Let's call this announcements. Let's give it a unique name. I'm going to do 25 just in case I did two already. So there we go. And now I should be able to put the whole thing right in there and uh, just go through that. Notice that I was being silly here. So, by the way, these are from our friends at Church Motion Graphics. If you like those, head over to um, churchmotiongraphics.com and you can get those. So that's pretty cool, but what if like in this situation, I realized, uh, actually, these two do not need to be in there. Well, if we go back over to Finder, I'm going to go to Teaching Media and Text here, and then Announcements. And I'm going to get rid of these two. So let's just go ahead and delete those. Ignore this. This is just Dropbox. And ignore my neighbor who's decided it's a good time to mow the grass. Um, but you'll notice that as soon as I got rid of those, it updated here in ProPresenter 7. So if I wanted to add something in, I can just drag that into the announcements and notice it updated here in uh, ProPresenter 7. So this hot folder or smart playlist, as it's now called, um, can update stuff automatically. And that's really, really cool. You don't have to import it. Uh, you just add whatever you need in and take whatever you don't need out and it will work perfectly fine except and let me talk to you about that it's the case that a lot of people once they find these they use the heck out of them and 
that's where that can be problematic because ProPresenter is always looking at these folders. Always. And it's always trying to decide, hey, do I need to update something or not? So the best use case for this, to use this smart playlist, is to bring it in and only bring in the media you need for a certain week. When the week is over, get rid of the media that you don't need anymore. Archive it, put it somewhere else, that's fine. Just get rid of it from that folder and only put in the new stuff. If you're a digital pack rat, if you bring in stuff, you know, you saw some of that in my case. You bring in stuff, so I'm preaching to the choir here. Um, if you bring in just all this stuff that you have used ever and you never get rid of it it's going to bog down ProPresenter because ProPresenter is always looking at those folders and always refreshing and always saying oh that's new that's new that's not new that's old blah 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 so the best way to use this is only use the media you need for a particular event put it in there and uh, only use it there if you're going to have stuff that you may from time to time use, just bring that into a regular folder and uh, update that manually. But if you're going to, I would only use it for the stuff you know for sure is going to be used in a particular uh, week. And that way you don't have to worry about it bogging down the system too much because this is much more resource intensive than just importing it. The only time ProPresenter checks for regular imports is when you start up ProPresenter. So that is just a little less stuff going on in the background than with a smart playlist, or which we used to call hot folders. If you like this content, you'd probably like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick. Give me your name and email address so that I can make a login for you. And then you can take the class anytime you want for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and uh, ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.